I've had a couple of requests from people on my forum there asking me how to create a portable application for their USB drive. So I thought I'd make a quick video uh, to show you how to do it. It's pretty simple really. Uh, there's a few different uh, methods that you can use. I've already posted one up on the forum um, which is uh, using this uh, universal ex extractor and uh, Win WinRAR. So this version we're going to be using a different method and this would be by video. So we're going to be using VMware FinApp. So download this for 60 day uh, trial or elevation. Once that's up you'll have to pay for it. But uh, you can download it from here. Okay, I will put the link in the description and also on my forum. So we're going to be uh, doing this application, something nice and simple. Uh, you can do whatever applications you like, but I'm just going to be using this just to show you how easy it is. So you need to download uh, this uh, program. So let's get um, started. Now I've already got my program installed, saved me a bit of time. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go next and what I want to do is a pre-scan of my system. Now the way this works is basically you do a pre-scan of the system it will scan your your uh, registry and to see what uh, what is in there and then once you install the program it will then post-scan your registry and see the changes that it's made and it will put those changes in the option bar there so you can actually make a portable app from it. That's how it works. So let's uh, start the pre-scan off and uh, I shall just uh, let this do its thing. I shall pause the video here because it does take a couple of minutes to do. Okay, so that's finished its pre-scan there. Um, it took a couple of minutes to do a scan of the registry and the system. And as you can see there, um, we've got a little query here, but I'm not going to worry about that too much. So I'm just going to go next. Okay. And then basically it's asking me now to install the application that we've got. So I need to get me application. OK, so I've downloaded that quickly and it's now on my desktop as you can see there. And what I'm going to do is install this application. So I will put this down in my toolbar there. I've not closed it off, I've just put it down there. So it's out of the way. I'm going to click Run. Let this install. Yes to that. Go Next. I accept the agreement. And then just now here we have um, some ticks in here, I don't want all them foreign languages because I can't speak none of them. So I'm just going to take tick out of there. Go next. And uh, that's OK. ISO images, I want that there. Go next and install. OK, so that's finished. We don't need to launch the actual program, we just click finish there. So what we need to do here now is uh, come back to our program, which we had in our uh, toolbar down there. And then now we need to do a post scan. So what we need to do now is click on post scan. Let that do a scan. Now what that's going to do is it's going to scan for the changes in the registry. And once it's found the changes, it will actually show up. You'll see what I mean in a minute. It will, check, it will scan the system files and everything else to see what changes have been made. So I'll pause the screen here. Okay, so that's finished its post scan now. And as you can see, it's come back with those two um, queries, but I'm going to just ignore those. Okay, so it's now set up its capturing wizard, rescans the registry. So what it's going to do now is it's uh, comparing pre scan and post scan, so before and after. And this is how we get our program, which is done there, as you can see. So what we need to do now is take the ticks out of the stuff that we don't need. So I don't, I need this uh, executable file. That's the actual program itself. I don't need the uninstall. Um, don't need this one, really. And uh, you can take out some bits and pieces you don't want. I don't want the forum, home page. Uh, we could leave license in now, but you can probably do away with it, to be honest. Let's uh, just take out. So the only ones I've got in there is this one here, okay? The executable, the actual program itself. The update is there. If you want to put the update in, you can do, but I'm just going to leave that out for this uh, video. So I'm just going to leave it just this file. Go next. Okay, then next again. Okay, and just leave that as it is. Go next. And we want to put a tick in this one. Same directory as application. Use this uh, USB and 
uh, portable media so just go next there uh, don't want to send nothing to VMware click next uh, you can leave that name in there if you want to or put whatever name you like go next okay and that's uh, okay as it is I want to compress this uh, now and go save it's just saving the project and the files once we do that we can then build the actual application it's just saving okay there we are so what we need to do now is uh, click on the build button okay so we can build the uh, fin app so we're going to go build and this ticks in here which is ok which is opens the actual destination where that file will be placed so I'll let it do its thing ok now you can see there build complete that's the actual thing done as soon as we click on finish it will open up this folder here and here we have our little portable app so we just click on this now and hopefully that should start up and there you go so that's how you make a portable application the easy way. My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. I hope you enjoy these videos. If you do, remember, please hit the subscribe button. Also, you may want to get over to my forum and you give it a web address here for the forum. So basically, come to brightechcomputers.co.uk forward slash forum and register for free. And you can be coming on here looking at all the tutorials that we've got going and everything else there's some good stuff on here to help you do and all the videos that I made I make tutorials from on here so it help you out and maybe you've got uh, some problems with your computers that you want other people to help you with then come on here post your problems not on YouTube okay guys so thanks again for watching thanks for your support bye for now